Feels like it's been a while since just the two of us sat down and talked, doesn't it? So a couple of weeks ago I made a video about retirement, how I think it's kind of a stupid concept. The overwhelming majority of comments were, people don't get the job that they want, therefore they should be able to retire because that's the better thing to do. And I wanted to kind of address that. I don't disagree with the fact that people generally don't get the job that they want, but what I do disagree with is the attitude that what you want is the same thing as what makes you happy. I think that humans, as a general rule, are pretty crap at predicting and understanding what's going to make us happy, and I think that anytime we want something too much, it's going to make us ultimately unhappy. What I've come to understand in my own life and through kind of watching other people is that the more we want something and the more we kind of live in desire, the less happy we're going to be, and therefore we should just kind of try and find a way to be content. That is not to say that we should settle. I'm a big fan of Calvin and Hobbes, and in one of the Calvin and Hobbes comics he talks about school, and he says, I hate school because I spend all day in school counting the minutes to the end of the hour, and the hour until the end of the school day, and the end of the how many school days are until the end of the week, and how many weeks are the in the month, and how many months until the end of the, of the school year, till summer, and then I get summer. So he hates school because he's always looking forward to the next thing. Now, of course, Calvin just hates school, and that's a whole different thing. But it did make me think about how he's just never living in the moment. He's never living in the present. He's always looking forward to when summer is going to be. And if we, you know, wait for tomorrow, if we wait for retirement or summer or whatever, it's just going to make now feel like shit. A lot of people in the comments mentioned how, you know, a not enough education will score you a low-wage job and therefore you won't be as content and not as happy. My answer to many of those people was to go look at Mike Rowe's TED talk. It's called Mike Rowe talks about or celebrates dirty jobs or something. Anyway, he goes around and he works with low-wage workers and he finds that most of them are actually really happy because they found contentness. They found that thing that I'm talking about in their jobs, even though, you know, some of them are like shoveling pig shit, and still they're loving their jobs and enjoying their lives and really happy and fulfilled. And I think that sometimes we just have to find the thing that fits us. When life throws you those curveballs where you end up being, you know, the pastry cook for a shitty restaurant, sometimes that's the greatest thing that can ever happen to someone and, and it can really be a blessing. So always be looking for those blessings and not always just expecting life to go the way you want, I think, is, is the kind of the point. Hey there guys, thanks for watching my video. Uh, you'll see the most two recent most videos kind of linked right about there. Uh, you can go check those out. Uh, remember to comment and rate and favorite and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on Friday. Oh yeah, and P.S. The people that commented on my World AIDS Day true or false quiz game that said I should make it a truth or fail, you should just tweet it to Hank Green and maybe it will become a truth or fail. I don't know how it works, but he's the person in charge, I think.